Hi, this is Roger in Finland, and today we're going to take a look at how to add subtitles to your videos, either for YouTube or just to watch them in VLC on your computer. In YouTube they can be auto-generated, which is why Putin tries very very much, or then you can create the subtitles in there, but it takes quite a lot of work and it's only for YouTube. So for me, the option and the solution is to go through generate an SRT subtitles file. It can be done manually because the syntax is very simple, every line of an SRT file has the starting point, the end point, then the text itself, and then that's it. Each line is numbered, so that can be done easily. Except if you need to add subtitles to a short film of 10 minutes, and I cannot imagine even of the longer videos. So how to do that? There are some tools for it. A fair question is, why would you need to add subtitles? Well, in our case, while we're making these short films, we have a fairly international crew and fairly international audience, and not all of us speak good enough English, sometimes it's not understandable, so the subtitles are just helpful. Since I did not want to do this manually, I was in the search for a tool and I found Subtitle Edit. I'm using the version 3.5 and I'm going to show you a little bit how it works. The first thing that might scare you a little bit is that initially, at least for me, it did not load the videos. Not MP4s, not MOVs, but it has a, just a simple setting that you can set a different video player for it. If you go to Options, Settings, then Video Player, you can set VLC as your video player. Then the player has its own playing head, of course, that you can just play the video, put pause, and then generate the text. But what I like to do much more is to use the waveform, where I can much more easily select the timing and see where the dialogue is. So you just click here, the waveform is being generated for you, and then you can see it. Then the next bit is my favorite. You just play the video, then hear what's going on, where's the dialogue, select it in the waveform, then right click and add text here. This will automatically generate the proper start and end time codes for your SRT file, and then in the text field you can just write your text, which is great. Because the text was already ready, since we had a script written, I wanted to find an easy way to copy it from the script into the subtitles. So what I did was through the settings, set shortcuts for add text here and add text here from the clipboard, which means that I can go to the script select a line or whatever lines I need to, copy them, go to subtitle edit, select in the waveform where I know exactly where the dialogue is, and then with a shortcut, just paste it and I have it there. <clears throat> so detective, do not let me waste any more of your valuable time. Doing it in this way, I could add all the subtitles in less than half an hour for a 16-minute short film. That was really easy and really convenient. And while it has many other options, this is all I've been using, and it's fantastic. Then the SRT files, you can upload them to YouTube, and YouTube will convert them automatically to be the subtitles in there. What I have also done is using a normal editor, Notepad++ in this case, to generate a translated version of the SRT file. And then I can upload different languages to YouTube. And <laughs> that's even more practical. Alright, I hope you found this useful, or interesting at least, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon for some more content. Don't say darling, cause you'll fake it Don't hide the tears, cause I know you're breaking